What's up viewers, Nick here once again with a review of a mini soundbar and subwoofer by the brand Nilevi. Sometimes to get great audio with the bass, you don't always need to break the bank by spending thousands of dollars on big name brands. This is the Nilevi SK070 2.1 soundbar and subwoofer. For only $129.99, this speaker combo delivers a big sound with the bass for what is classified as a budget model. So special thanks to Nilevi for sending over this model for review and in this video I'll do a simple unboxing, check out its design and specs and perform a high fidelity audio and bass test and you'll decide if this is the model you have been looking for. So stay tuned, you have that right after this brief intro. And welcome back. So in your purchase contains the mini soundbar, the subwoofer, one infrared remote control, a 24 volts, 1.2 amps DC power supply, one auxiliary cable, a support card, and a user manual. Let's have a look at the features of the soundbar. So it measures 16.1 inches long by 2 and 3 quarter inches thick by 2.7 inches tall. It has a glossy finish and behind this plastic mesh you have two 35 watt range speakers that delivers your mid-range and treble. It also has an LED indicator and IR sensor. At the back for I.O. it contains one HDMI ARC input port, one USB, a 3.5mm auxiliary port for the included cable, a coaxial port, its DC power socket, and an output port for the subwoofer. To the side, it has manual press button controls. And to its base has two anti-skid rubber feet to prevent skidding on smooth surfaces and to protect from scratches. The subwoofer is 14 inches tall by 7 and a quarter inches long by 4 inches thick. It has a 65 watt subwoofer speaker to the side with a fabric mesh, a breather for the subwoofer at the back and a single cable to connect to the subwoofer. Please note, the amplifier for the subwoofer is built into the soundbar. So here's a look at its remote. It's pretty straightforward with an input source selector volume controls, previous and next track selector. What I like is that it has treble and bass level controls as well as preset equalizer modes. So to test its various connecting modes, I'll start with the most popular one which is Bluetooth. So to connect via Bluetooth is pretty straightforward. You power on the soundbar and press the input selector until you are in Bluetooth pairing mode, which will be indicated by a voice notification and a blue colored LED. Coaxial mode, HDMI mode, AUX mode, USB mode, Bluetooth mode. You then scan for the SK070 device from the list of detected devices and pair your device to it. Connected. You then proceed to adjust your treble and bass or you can use an EQ mode. Movie. News. 
Music. The other way you can play audio is via external storage connected via USB. This would apply to music tracks only as video will run into decoder issues. Switch the input source to USB mode and use the play pause button and the previous and next buttons to navigate through your tracks. Please note, the USB port can only read FAT32 file format, which in my opinion is counterproductive. Coaxial mode, HDMI mode, AUX mode, USB mode. Its HDMI ARC input source has some instructions in the manual that state that it cannot work with digital audio formats such as Dolby Atmos and DTS Audio, and you should set the audio output on your TV to PCM format. I spent quite a significant amount of time troubleshooting with tech support from Nilavi trying to get this feature to work. At first, I could not get it to work whether I set it to digital audio or PCM. When I did get it to work, it had nothing to do with setting the audio to PCM or disabling surround sound audio. What fixed the issue was enabling HDMI CEC to sync with the soundbar. I did not have to disable Dolby Atmos or DTS, and here's a full demonstration to prove it. This is Dolby Atmos. This is Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels. And here's DTS HD Master Audio. This is DTS-X. This is Dolby Surround from Dolby Vision Video. I did not get Dolby True HD, but it could be that my TV itself cannot process this format. With Netflix, you get audio with Dolby Vision, but Netflix detects the speaker configuration as 5.1, so it does not initiate Dolby Atmos. It becomes warmer and wetter. Perfect for plants. If you have a TV like this one, you can set the audio output to internal and have the auto feature configure the TV's internal speaker and the soundbar via HDMI ARC play simultaneously. And you can control each volume individually to achieve the perfect balance. Yes. He was right. I'm sorry, Stephen. Your desecration of reality will not go unpunished. We should tell him the truth.
so you can use its HDMI ARC feature in various ways. Its auxiliary port comes in handy for connecting to TVs with legacy RCA audio output ports, and it works great with your AV receiver connected to your front speaker channels, or connected as a subwoofer. So viewers, there you have it. This was my review of the Nylavi soundbar and subwoofer. In regards to the HDMI ARC connectivity, this may vary from TV to TV, so I guess they may have put that in the manual as a precaution in the event you run into issues. With that said, I must admit that I'm impressed with the sound quality it produces. One thing that would have made it even more attractive would have been an optical audio port. So if you are interested, it's currently being sold on Amazon with a $30 coupon at the time of recording this video, reducing the price to $99.99. This offer is subject to change in the future, so to take advantage before stocks run out or the promotional offer expires, take advantage by using the link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video the thumbs up to support this channel and to improve my ratings. If you are viewing one of my videos for the first time, then I encourage you before leaving to click that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell to receive notifications each time I release a new video or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks again for watching, stay connected and see you in the next one.